of the uh, benefits to being a hoarder of things is generally somewhere I have what I need to do what I want. Let me get this open and I'll show you guys what I mean. So here I have enough turbos and pipe or enough manifolds and pipes to probably build a turbo setup. I'm gonna show you guys a few different options that are available. And I'm gonna show you what I do. That'll be and then I'll actually do it in a separate video. But I have a preferred way, but there's a couple ways you can do it. All right, so the first thing to know before you even get into this is that all these manifolds are cast steel. People refer to them as cast iron. They're not, they're cast steel. You can totally MIG weld do them with a normal welder with absolutely nothing. They're weldable. That is stuck now. Uh, now I have a big turd. I'm a manifold for you guys. Yeah, they're so that should really open the uh, door if you have a MIG welder to what you can do with them right off the rip, right? If you don't like this flange, cut it off, put a pipe on it, do what you need to do. I'll be back after I get this all, all straightened out to show you some of the options that I like. All right, so the first style is the log manifold, and I went ahead and threw the water pump on there so you guys can see what you're gonna be up against. The outlets for the heater hose on an LS and the water outlet are right here in front of the manifold. Um, I like the log style because it'll clear the AC compressor, and it, it pretty much clears everything. As long as it doesn't put your turbo out the hood, um, which this one shouldn't because most shouldn't because they're going to be lower than the throttle body. If your throttle body is not out the hood, your turbo shouldn't be out the hood. This is one that I made like two years ago and it's not that great. Um, and I'm probably going to remake it because it's kind of a pile of hot garbage, but it did work and you get the idea. You have all your, uh, spark plugs. That one's finger tight. That's cool. Um, you can get to all your spark plugs. You can get to your heater hoses. The turbo sits up here. Not a big deal. You can find these from Fowler Speed for anywhere from like 350 bucks for a weld it yourself kit. He's got a, a sheet metal, not sheet metal, but like thin gauge exhaust pipe metal style that uh, is like 350 bucks already welded for you. The do it yourself kit is weld L's and like plumbing pipe, heavy duty stuff that'll last an eternity. Um, on Facebook, one of our guys in the group, Marlon, he made his own out of one of these. You have a few options for how you want to do it. Um, KB Racing makes some trick performance makes some. There's a company importing Joey Fowler's design that he had them try to make a couple years ago in China. Now there's a company that's ripped that off. And, uh, is importing them on eBay for like 270 bucks. $270 is still a lot of money for me. I, I don't really want to do that, but making it yourself is the way that I would want to go. But there's options out there if you want to buy this. Um, the next thing that I'll talk about briefly, I don't have any to demonstrate, but is everybody always wants to do the up and forward, like CX Racing sells them. They're stainless, they look super sweet. Um, the problem is that they hit everything. They're gonna hit everything here. You're gonna have to relocate your coils. They're gonna hit the oil fill. And then they put the turbos right here. So they're right in the alternator on the other side. And, and people will do a bunch of mental gymnastics to be like, oh, all I had to do was cut and weld it and turn it and relocate my coils and everything else. And I did $500 worth of crap to get them on. I'm not even gonna go into to the up and forward headers. Like if, if you like them and you already have the answers, then go for it and if you know, you need help, then keep watching. So I'm not gonna go into the up and forward headers. I will go into uh, up next what you can do with the factory manifolds though. 
Another option I've seen people use with success is um, using the LS truck manifold as an up and forward, which you can do a couple different ways. You can come in here. Since I showed you, you can weld to them. You can MIG weld to them. You can come in here, cut this however you need to. Move stuff however you want to. I tried to make a log out of this before, out of one of these, a Trailblazer SS one like that one. Um, and those videos are up on the channel. And it was kind of a nightmare. This is a normal truck one that comes out further. So I threw this on here to see, but you'll still have to relocate your coils, which I don't want to do, but you might not care about. Um, I might not care about, we'll see how I feel about Jewel. I'd kind of like to open this up and make it look a little nicer for my wife's car, but we'll see. Right now, as of right now, I don't want to, but you could use, a, so I guess the point that matters to you is that these are symmetrical. This is a passenger side, but I flipped it upside down and it'll still bolt on. I can also do what I'll show you next, which is a, which is a side to side swap. Um, because they're symmetrical so I can bring them down and forward as well So let me do some Rika jiggering and I'll bring you guys back All right, so this is the final little configuration for the DIY guy um, You can do side to side so I have Passenger driver driver passenger so they're down and forward um and then what you do is you come through and build some kind of crossover and put your turbo wherever it needs to go. If, you, if you're down under, your steering shaft and craps over here. If you're here in the States, your steering shaft and craps over here. Um, one advantage is that like you'll have tons of room for steering clearance now. If you have the kind of uh, platform that, that steering clearance is a problem, like an S10. Um, right now I can tell you that these pipes are way too low and probably going to hit the chassis, although I don't really know that. I'm assuming that my cross member is going to be right here somewhere. Um, what I do know, I tried to put this on to show you guys what you're dealing with, what you're going to be up against, is that flange, these are normal truck manifolds again, that flange hits my power steering pump. Um, so what I'll have to do... What I would have to do if I wanted to do this is cut that flange off. You just got to, you know, get creative with uh, how you need to do it and, and what you need to do. Unfortunately, it's easier, easiest to do in the car. But uh, I think that this is the way that I'm going to go for Jewel. And I think that I'm going to go ahead and build it right now with everything out. I've already done the log and I think I'll put a log back on Daryl because Daryl has air conditioning or will have air conditioning, but Jewel won't. Um, this is where being honest with yourself comes into play. Like I'm not going to throw a thousand dollars at that car to have air conditioning in it. At least not any time in the near term. Um, my truck, I, I, I'm keeping my truck, the truck's part of the family, the truck's staying around. so. The truck will get the money spent on it, but Jewel is just a car that we have because we think it's cool. And, you know, who knows if we'll have it in three years or not. Um, so I think that, you know, stock truck manifold swap side to side is the way we're going to go for Jewel. Um, so that'll be another video series where I show how we build that. But hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you're looking at and what you can do. Again, like I said, if you have truck manifolds, like this will hit a C10 because it's out so far, but you can cut it off and just weld some pipe to it and get it where you need it to be. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer and look for the, uh, the new turbo build, the new crossover build, because I'll be doing that in the coming weeks here. Um, I don't really have anything else to do while it's freezing cold outside, so that's what I'll be working on. Oh, also, the big deal about this, again, is you get all that spark plug clearance. It's just like stock, so all your wires will go right down and fit. You won't have to redo all that, which is kind of a big deal to me, but not to some people. So, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer, and go build something cool.